Westport region. Again, two Eastern on ESPN after we finish up here. Ten point game, K-State with a lead. Wallach falling away, might have gotten touched there. Offensive rebound, Jones can't finish. And it will stay with the Cougs here. A fresh 20 on the shot clock, but time running out here. to Wallach. Waiting for Jones to come off the screen. Finds Crystal Ledger Walker. A heave for three. Well off the mark. And they got a timeout in there. Did K-State. Two timeouts remaining for Jeff Mitty and 38.1 on the game clock. Oh, for their last 11 in general, KG, it's been a tough stretch for Washington State in the fourth quarter. It definitely has. They've struggled to shoot the ball second half but on the other side Kansas State has done a great job of taking care of the basketball they had eight turnovers in the first half pretty sloppy in that first quarter they only have four in this entire second half so that's been a difference maker for Kansas State and they were able to see what the Cougars were doing and adjust in terms of getting the ball in to Aoka Lee another incredible performance from Lee 20 points 15 rebounds we talked about Elisa Kane and Kelly. Uh, we also saw Akila Smith do her thing. 32 points, 13 boards in the first four games. She was impressive to say the least. One of four players so far in this NCAA tournament with a 30 burger. She had 32 and 13 against Mount St. Mary's, Mary's joining Ashley Jones. Dickey from Delaware and Liz Kitley who had 42 for Virginia Tech in their opening round lock. We love a good 30 burger here in Raleigh. We do. We really do. Serena Sundell comfortable dribbling out. Six on the shot clock. Dollinger with the drive. No good. Ten seconds left in the game. And that will certainly wrap it up. Kansas State advances to the second round of the NCAA tournament. They will await the winner of NC State and Longwood. Again, our final score, 50 to 40 Kansas State with a win for Kelly Gramlick, our entire crew. I'm Sam Ravage, thanks for watching. The NCAA Women's Championship presented by Capital One continues next.